guys. So I just wanted to talk to you about a documentary movie that's coming out. It's a service dog movie, like super exciting. I was given the opportunity to, to preview it before the release date, which is January 30th. The name of the movie is Adele and Everything After, and it is an amazing documentary. I cried, I laughed, I was happy, I was sad, I felt all the emotions and connected with her. Um, it's about a woman named Marty and she, it shows um, how much her service dog has changed her life and I think that it's going to bring great awareness to what service dogs can do um, for invisible and not invisible um, illnesses and that the dog, you know, it shows the bond and the relationship and how life can completely change um, because of a service dog. Um, when you have a disability, your life is completely different. Um, and then when you get a service dog and it gives you that freedom and that comfort and that amazing bond that you have between um, something that saves your life and it changes your life completely it gives you freedom and you can do so many things with a service dog um, when your disability hinders your life in such a way and I personally I was very um, connected with um, Marty because I have a service dog myself who alerts to seizures and passing out from my brain injury so her she has something um, a different disability than I do but she also has passing out spells or fainting spells and so her dog alerts to those and I connected with her in the movie in a very deep level because I know exactly how it feels to not have control of your life and to feel scared to do things and you know constant fear waking up and you're like what's gonna happen today am I gonna hit my head again am I gonna break my nose, am I gonna, all these different things that have happened and you're just, you're scared because it's so, you don't know when to expect what's gonna happen and I connected with her on a deep level with that. But I also connected to her on a deep level on how a service dog saved her life and gave her so much freedom and I, Colt is, an amazing dog and I don't know how he does what he does but he saves my life on a daily basis and I don't have that fear anymore I have so much of a connection with him that I feel comforted and like constantly uh, someone's got my back and I don't I'm not scared anymore when I wake up I'm not fearful and that's something that she portrays in this documentary and that is something I think that is so important to explain that service dogs are working dogs and by law are not considered pets. Um, by law they're considered medical equipment. Of course that doesn't mean we love them any less and they're you know not just a thing, they're a living thing obviously, but they're extremely important and people I think it will help them understand that Service dogs are not just pets. They're not just, you know, there for fun. They're there for a very important reason. And I think that this movie documentary is going to help portray that to people and help them understand how important a service dog is and not distracting them because, you know, what if the dog gets distracted and then the person passes out? It could be life-threatening. And so this this documentary is amazing you guys have to check it out it's going to be on so many different um social media outlets sites um i think uh you know i'll, I'll have to put a list in there i'm my memory <sighs> what are you doing okay it was just <laughs> i was like what if he alerts during the movie that would be super funny i mean the video um so I'm sorry, I'm drawing a blank. That's what happens with a brain injury. I actually have notes written on the board behind the camera because, whew. So, um, yes, you guys need to check it out. It's not, it's not that expensive. On the 30th, it will be released. You guys have to watch it. I suggest anybody who has a service dog watches it because you're gonna be 
just as attached to the movie as I am because you're going to understand how you know precious the bond is and then she ends up you know meeting a new service dog that's what happens um eventually our dogs are going to retire and <laughs> that part whoa I cried a whole lot huh didn't I but he was there to comfort me and you know sooner or later he's going to have to retire and I know that and it's going to be very hard and so I know the emotions that she was feeling and, you know, getting a new dog, it is also scary too, because you don't know what to expect with that dog. Is that dog going to be able to do the same things? Um, you know, the training part, working with the dog and everything is so hard and so much goes into it. And, you know, a true service dog is very expensive, whether it's mm -hmm. owner trained or from an organization, the dog is very expensive. It takes years of training, hours and hours, thousands of hours of training and it costs a lot of money there's a lot of training tools involved a lot of gear involved a lot of you know temperament testing and um different things that are involved in the training so it's it's not as simple as a lot of people think and i think that this documentary is going to help with that so if you have a service dog or a service dog training if you're waiting for a service dog if you you know have been talking with your doctor about a service dog I suggest that you watch this documentary. It's going to be so helpful. It's going to show the goods and the bads and the everything in between. And I also think that um, anybody that doesn't have a service dog and will never have a need for a service dog should watch it as well. Because it will bring so much more awareness. And it's it's like an actual movie. It's very, like, breathtaking. Ta you know, takes you into the movie. You get very enveloped in the story. And... It's great. I think that it will help everybody learn about service dogs. So many people are curious about service dogs. We get questions all day, every day when we're out. And so I know that people are curious about this type of thing. And I think that it will be really important for them to watch it as well. So everybody just go watch this movie when it comes out January 30th. Save the date. Put it in your phone or on your calendar or whatever it is and go watch this movie. I will put a link below of the site that you can find all the information on and also, you know, the, the different sites that it's going to be on. It's, I don't think it's going to be in theaters, um, but I've been in contact with um, the people from Adele and everything after, and they are just amazing and sweet and kind, and everything is super exciting about this. Like, I cannot wait. It is so close. So next week, Please, guys, go check it out. Comment below if you guys are going to watch this movie because I am freaking excited about it and I want to know if you guys are going to watch it too. And I'm, I've been watching it a few different times. So just please comment below. Go to the link. Check it out. You'll be able to see where it's going to be available and all of that. Save the date. And, you know, when you guys do watch the movie, if you want to come back and comment, just... Let me know what you thought of it. It is an amazing movie. So I'm super excited for you guys to watch it. I give it like two paws up. It is amazing. So thank you guys for your time and I will see you later.